Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome back to Sam Loves Gaming, or welcome in if you're new to the channel. We're back at it again today. We're playing Alone in the Dark. Let's get it. <laughs> hello, welcome in, everybody. Good morning or good evening to you. Hey, Monet, welcome in. How are you doing? Lavel, welcome. Howdy. Thanks for the visit. Alzoida said, have a great stream, baby. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Gamble Fiction, welcome in. All right, let's continue. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Greddy, how you doing, brother? Okay, we stopped at a good part yesterday. We're playing Alone in the Dark. I believe I'm on chapter, body. chapter two still. Gamble, how are you? Thanks for the visit. I'm doing really well. Greddy, welcome in. Tao Tilly, I said, what's up? We are live. It's 11.05 a.m. We are live in the United States. That is mountain time. Let's get back into Alone in the Dark. Okay, so I went somewhere yesterday. I was in the cemetery, and then this body came back with She's me. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Perosi's body looked unharmed. Conby couldn't figure out how she died. Or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. Dang, what a shame. She is too young to die. Greddy from the chat said, Tilly, cut off your pie. <laughs> no! Why'd they cut me off the pie? That's just cold-blooded. Lava's Lounge from the chat said, Did a cross-country hike today with the, the full kit. Let's just say my body can still take a beating. <laughs> awesome. I hope you had a good hike, Lava. Okay. Perusi's key game. Body looked Do I have some keys? Peru oh, dang. We got some keys. The luggage key. Yes. Okay, I always get scared opening a door. I don't know if I'm going to go to another dimension or there's going to be a freak out here to kill. <laughs> Let me make sure there's no little collectibles. Ready. I'm sorry I couldn't attend the one year anniversary. I don't think I got an invitation. Okay, where's where's Uncle Jeremy's room? Let's go to Uncle Jeremy's room. We finally get to open this luggage, guys. See what the heck's been in here. Let's get it. Oh, the lenses. Okay, nice. Telescope lens. Why did he lock that up? Lobble's Lounge. Good for you, though. You keep on hiking. That's awesome. Okay, there's nothing in here. It's been a hot minute since I've seen Emily. Just to fill you guys in, I'm a detective helping this young lady, Emily, find Uncle Jeremy. There's just been some unexplainable things going on. <laughs> Greddy, please forgive me. I'll make it up to you and Tilly, I promise. <laughs> okay, nothing in this room. Nothing in Uncle Jeremy's room. I know I'm a detective, but I just really feel like I've been invading people's privacy <laughs> during this game. Let's 
Okay. Jeremy had found a way to enter Terrawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Combe suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what he would find, he felt eager to put the lens to use. Okay, that was something. Dang, I have a, a lot of stuff now. I think I need to come over here. I need to go. I believe through the library. Let's go work on another puzzle, guys. Let's see, this telescope is in here. I keep wanting to call it a stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go see what's up. I know we're going to have a little puzzle here. Let's put that piece in. Ooh, it's, is it supposed to be that blurry? That music is distracting. Okay, what do you guys think this star is right here? Hmm. What do I do now? Look for answers in the stars. focus. I want to be a little bit more clear, but it is not. Gretty from the chat. Let's see what Gretty said. Tilly. Sammy, I know you've been misbehaving. I'll kill those monsters. Will you behave? <laughs> Shows the monster killer spatula. I would appreciate any backup from these freaks. <laughs> what the heck? I feel like I'm missing something. Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burned soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly no Astarte. Those good pirates of Ponchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay.
The Barlow Lens Instructions To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Okay, so apparently I don't know how to use the telescope, but I do know how to use the stethoscope, folks. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm looking for any other clues in here because we're working. This is the puzzle we currently have to do. Use the telescope um, in the drawing room to look for answers in the stars. Okay, what answers are in the bloody stars? Let's see. I'm going to see something um, magnificent. Is that what it said? But I think I'm zooming in too quickly, so it's not um, it's not too clear. Okay, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be looking at. <laughs> that's like the most clear picture I could get. I don't know. Greddy says from the chat, Sammy, if you behave, I'll give you a triple the slices of pie. Well, one slice is good, my friend. Just don't cut me off. <laughs> Remember, a slice of cherry pie with the black coffee. Okay, I don't know what the bloody heck I am looking for. Like, bloody hell, Sam. Where your picture is clear. Okay, I thought that picture was pretty clear right there. What do you think about that now? Let's see. What do I see? It, it seems pretty clear to me now. Oh, did I see it? Oh, I did something. Yay. Whoa. Dang. What the heck happened to the room, yo? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. What is going on? That was trippy. Oh, snap. I don't remember what I seen. I think I have to place this to make the star. Oh my goodness. Another puzzle. Is this one a Taurus? I, I see the I see a little bull right here. 
That would be mine. Do you guys see it? Or am I tripping? I was trying to look really good too at the star. That I was looking at. <laughs> Let's see what Gretty from the chat said. Sammy, my spies from the Pinkertons told me that you've been misbehaving in Rhodes and St. Denise. You, and even my lover, Madame Nazar, told me you've been misbehaving. Dang, your, your lover, Madame Nazar? Madame Nazar is your lover, Gretty? <laughs> Oh, I beat it? Nine, four, seven. Woohoo! Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? That's the dining room. We were there. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness, I'm glad that was a decent puzzle. <laughs> okay. Black Rose, welcome in. Another How are you doing, hun? Seeping into Appreciate the visit. I'm playing this detective game still, and it's super scary. A lot of stuff be going on. <laughs> Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious tearaway? I am doing good. Thanks for asking. Happy Tuesday and thanks so much for the visit. Let me make sure there's no collectibles in here. Before I did that puzzle, I didn't even see if there was anything else to collect. I hope I didn't miss any collectibles. The rooms switch up a lot, so you got to make sure you search them. I was looking for some, some of the trophies, but I think I might have to beat this again to try to platinum. But there's only 38 trophies. So maybe it'll take me a couple times to beat. But I do want to beat the game one more time being Emily. Maybe I may have a different experience. Try Platinuming Tale Tales The Walking Dead. It's so hard. Actually, I do have that game. I know it's a PS4 game, but I really want to play it. Um, let me know if you guys want to see me play that game next after this game. I've had it for like over a year now, and I have not played it yet. And it was really hard to get because I had to, I think I had to even get like a used copy. I still don't even know if it works. <laughs> okay, let's go search some more rooms. Ooh, I'll have to check for you, Gretty. I'll let you know in tomorrow's stream. Okay, I'll have to go through and look them. I have a whole tub full of games and like DVD, so I'll have to look through them later on and see what um, what edition I bought. I know some people aren't big fans, but I'm a big Walking Dead fan. I love the shows and it's even fun to play the games. Okay. I have to check and make sure there's like nothing here for me to get. It's been a while since I seen Emily and I streamed yesterday and we played the heck out of this game. And uh, I didn't run into Emily for a hot minute either. So I wonder when I'm gonna see her again. <laughs> Oh, heck 
Okay, I just, I have to collect all these sets right here. And I'm scared because I don't want to miss anything in a room. I need to look around before I do a puzzle. <laughs> Always make sure I'm scavenging everything. Okay, I think it's like really confusing to get there too, to the um, dining room. I know that's what the tassel man had showed me when I looked into it. Okay. I need the key. Have you played the game before, Gretty? Let me know if you played it. If you played Walking Dead. Okay, here's the room I'm supposed to go to. What's, here we go. What's in here? What the heck? Chapter three? What? I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts. But the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity, a spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. 
There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Okay, I got a trophy somewhere else. Okay. That was trippy. Look at how pretty it is here, though. Freddy Gaming says season one and two all episodes on phone and PC, but not season three. Oh. Okay, that's good to know, Greddy. Hey, Rob San. Welcome in, Rob. You have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Hmm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away as origin. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward de Vilban. Okay, give me one moment, guys. I'm going to be AFK. I have to use the restroom. All the coffee and water I'd be drinking. <laughs> give me one second. Thank you. Okay, I am back now. Let's see what are our Tom objectives. Tom felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terawea. It was somehow uncomfortable to him. Juan, the sweater-wearing Buddha, wasn't helping either. According to Conby, people just weren't meant to be this nice and genuine. Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog. Whoops, sorry. Conby felt confused by the pleasant With the meat. dark man, okay. That was trippy. Is there anything out here? 
Oh, dang, I could go in there? Okay. Let's search around before I go. I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm really scared. After I did the telescope and the star puzzle, I hope there wasn't something in that room. I don't want to miss anything for these sets. I have to collect. Okay. Nothing out here. Guess this is the only door we could go through. The library. Oh great, is there gonna be a freak? There's a bottle, okay. It's gonna be a freak to kill. I see weapons out. library is so scary. Oh. You always got to look around really good to make sure you don't miss nothing. Okay, I just seen a trophy, guys, before I started up today. I was looking at the trophies. I'm kind of sad because I seen one. Do not drink from your flask. <laughs> Definitely would have been working on that throughout the whole game. So I'll have to beat it again. But that's that's okay. We got to beat it again as Emily. Okay. What the heck? Everything is moving. This is a trippy and pretty weird library. <gasps> okay. Wow, it's actually pretty in here. Oh goodness, this statue scared the heck out of me. Was that statue just there? <laughs> okay, that was pretty trippy. Wow. There's these statues everywhere. That's kind of scary. Do you guys see that other one up there on the second floor? Are they watching me, the statues? The little spies? Okay, that's pretty scary. There's something missing. There's always something missing, right? Another statue, okay. Stairs that lead to nowhere. These statues are really scary and I really hope they don't come to life. <laughs> oh great, oh great, there's a freak, I hear something. Super scary. This 
those are a lot of nice books just rotting away in here. Gretty, I would appreciate it. I promise I won't misbehave. <laughs> the great library was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. Okay. Well, that was lovely. Oh, great. Now there's a statue sitting there. That was so scary. I don't know. For some reason, everything is just scaring me in here. <laughs> they said the dark man is in the library studying things as well. I really don't want to run into him. There's a lot of floors. Oh, there's that little thing. Okay. There we go, nice. Oh, snap. I didn't even get to search the room. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Nice. I knew I was missing something because I wanted to go in here and I, I, it's best I died anyway so I could get whatever I needed in here. This is a nice little kind of creepy room <laughs> hidden away. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to get away from this next dude. It's going to be really scary though.
something missing. Okay, guys, let's do this again. Take two. <laughs> Supposed to run? Okay, so I guess I don't beat him. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try again. Take two. Okay. Dang. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Okay, I was supposed to put that thing that I got in there. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, snap, this dude is just bringing death to everything. Go, Sonny, go! Go, 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 he's coming! Go! What the heck? Oh my god. Use the ladder, go! <laughs> Was trippy. Is he still like coming after me? I still see death in here. I'm supposed to get into the cage. Kratos said hi and bye. Welcome in. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this week is coming. Just about to leave for work. Have a good time at work. Or rest of your time. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. What the heck? Okay, let me go faster this next time. Sorry guys, I was trying to read the chat to say hello to everybody. Did it give me a save point when he's still on me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this guy is a freak. I'm not gonna lie guys, this is super scary. I think I have to go and get all of these. Okay. Why is it taking me up? Okay, oh, taking me back up to a different spot. Okay. Nice. So I can use that key for multiple little lots. Oh my goodness, he's coming! Ah! Go, Sam, go, friend, run, 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 run. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. 
guys, I'm, I'm gonna die right here. Scavenging for stuff. Oh my gosh, he's so scary. <laughs> I was still looking for stuff. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Trying to drink some water. Okay, where the heck do I go now? There's another, um... There's another key somewhere. Is this like a death trap going in here? There's nothing. Why did I go back? Why? Why did I do it? Why am I up here? Was I supposed to go up there for something? Or is it just to escape this street? Okay, go down, go down, get down, get down. I think there's another little key loop down here somewhere. I'm not trying to misbehave. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> oh, so I guess I was supposed to go up here now. Shoot, the freak's coming down here, the freak. Oh my goodness, go, 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 go. Run! I have no idea where to go right now. Oh god, why did I walk right up to him? Oh my goodness. Oh, the last one was in here. No wonder he came in here. Get on the ladder. Go, Sammy, go, go. I'm also looking for things. I don't want to miss anything for my set. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't even be searching for stuff. But I'm not even sure I got it. Oh my goodness, it is scary, guys. My adrenaline is like on 1,000 right now. How the heck am I going to get to that room? <sighs> Search around, make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, did that scary man go away? <laughs> That was a little much for me. I am going to keep it real with you guys. That was one scary mofo. Okay. Nothing here. Oh god, is that him over there? Okay, it's just a just a purple curtain. Sammy, remind me not to mess with me, Tilly. And if you snitch on Tilly for having Madame Nazar. <laughs> no, I, I won't snitch, Greddy. I promise. Let me see if there's any little collectibles. This was a freaky ass library. I'll tell you that, guys. I do not want to come back to this library ever again. I don't know how many times that crazy man killed me. 
Oh, nice. Now I get some ammo. Well, that's lovely. It's about time. Can I go in this little area? Nope. Okay. Guys, I really hope I'm not missing anything. I haven't found any collectibles in this little room, but... Here's something. Hopefully we're okay. Alright. Where did we get to? Oh, I'm finally up here. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. <laughs> Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no one. <laughs> So close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Garmy, think. Think. The shipping cup. Prexed. Right. Good luck, detective. You're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No, but it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> It's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. I got a trophy. Drop me off in New Orleans. Nice. Woohoo! 
Oh, the matchbook. Okay, nice. We got another set. How many sets do we have so far? One, two, three, four. Four out of 15. That's still good. Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. Oh my gosh, did it take away all my other documents? Maybe I had too much, huh? The Great Library. <sighs> okay, that was trippy. I can't believe it took away all my other documents, but maybe I had too many. Oh my gosh, there's freaks. Oh my goodness, great, there's freaks. It's locked from the other side. Where'd my light go? Okay, oh, it's so foggy, I can't even see nothing. That girl, she left me here. She gave me some whiskey and she left me. <laughs> oh my gosh, did he kill me? that quick see it don't even give you a chance to hit him with your fist either jeez I'm trying to look for stuff and these freaks are coming after me all right chapter three. Oh, i can hit maybe okay yo what's up matt welcome in thanks for the visit how are you doing see the freak Goodness. I'm gonna have to just like run. I want to kill these guys because I feel like I'm missing collectibles or something in this area. But th they're super scary. Ah! Oh my gosh. This game is not a game meant for combat. I'll tell you that. I have to slow reloading and slow reactions i'm like trying to run away from him gonna have to just light him on fire jeez that really took a lot for him to die Definitely will take that weapon. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Why is there another freak? Yo, there's freaks. On top of freaks. He's on fire. But he's still coming for me. Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Run! Louise. Oh, I got a machine gun cartridge. Okay, definitely. We will pick that shovel up. 
do some beating. Okay, I can't go in there. Just want to make sure there's no collectibles over here. Or nothing I may need. a trophy you drink your flask you drink your whiskey to um get health but one of the trophies is to beat the game without drinking out, out of your flask at all but i die so much i guess i could get through it just don't drink anything take the death and then come back please louise that guy really took a good beating new orleans docks okay there must be another way inside sewer system has a tunnel running right below Preg's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. Oh god, there's more breaks. Guys, give me one moment. I have to go AFK. I'm a heavy water drinker. I gotta use the restroom again. I will be right back. Thank you. All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, I can only hold five? That's cold-blooded. Okay. Oh, great. Reloading is gonna get me. Oh my gosh, get off of me! <laughs> oh my gosh, so scary. It doesn't even give you a chance to reload until you're like shooting. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Just not a good combat in this game, I'll tell you that. Okay, I can't get in there. Always use a sledgehammer. Oh snap, what's up here? Can I drop in? Okay, I guess I can.
got a key. All right, I guess there's nothing else to get inside of here. Oh my goodness, this freak. Oh my gosh, the ones from the ground are so freaking scary, yo. Come on, how is it going to do me dirty like that? Ah! Oh my gosh, no! Best way to do is light those freaks on fire. Gosh, that was so scary. Nice, got some ammo. Okay, before I mess with this stuff, let me see if there's anything else I may need to get over here. No way I can get this out of the way with my bare hands. Okay, if so I get that... that crane going, that should okay. do it. Okay, we do the crane for that, but let's make sure there's nothing else over here I may need to collect. Typewriter ribbon. Okay, there we go. Oh gosh, no! Ah! Get up off me! Get up off me! Get up off me! Oh my gosh! Leave me alone! Dang, those guys are so scary. Great, more of them are coming. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, was there a freak behind me trying to grab me? <laughs> that was scary. What's up, June? Welcome in, sis. I'm sorry I missed your stream the other day. She said, I can't stay long since I'm out. That's okay. I appreciate you always visiting me, though. No worries. How is he able to beat me? Is there another guy behind me? Okay. Damn, these freaks are scary, but I thought I would run up on him before he could run up on me. I got a trophy, an honest day's work. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that freak over there? Hope you're doing well, Sammy, and chat. Thank you. I appreciate that, June. Same here. I missed you, girl. Hope all is well with you. Definitely be getting on some CTA soon. Hopefully you could join us this weekend. <clears throat> a 
Okay, let me make sure I'm not finding anything down here in the sewers. Any collectibles from the sewer people. Man, I am a real good detective. I am in the sewers. I am fighting these freaks. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but we'll manage. Swing, bat a swing! Dang, Sammy! Dang! Oh my gosh. Jeez. Jeez, Louise, you really need a lot of, guys, like, ammo and everything else for these guys. Okay, square how I reload? Square? Okay. Hopefully that was the right reload. Oh my goodness, that was scary. I am just so sick of these freaks. Got two whiskeys, alright. Yeah, but I have a feeling there's going to be some freaks coming after me. Look at all this stuff nearby. <sighs> Wish you can hold the Molotovs and save them for later. That'd be really nice. Nice! Got another little collectible, okay. Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dog man inside. Okay. Gotta really look around, make sure I don't miss anything. I'm sad because I think I missed some sets. I hope I did not. We're in chapter three. Took me four streams to get here. <laughs> That's okay though. You know, just taking my time. You know, these type of games, you can't rush them either. You want to make sure you get everything. I'll definitely take that weapon. Why would I jump down? Okay. I just thought there was something there. <laughs> Let me keep it moving. Oh wow. Let me get me a drink. Is that just a machine gun laying there? Yeah, I always wanted to try one of these. Is that a little Tommy? I know this- Oh, it is a Tommy gun! What? There we go. I knew that this is like in the 1920s or 30s. You know, I played Godfather games. I'm like, I'm hoping it's a Tommy gun. Heck yeah. I got a shoddy. I got a little 38. What the freak was that? All his things. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. 
Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Dang. What the heck? Holster your gun. Okay, okay. Holster my gun. Zombie Slayer King, what is up? Welcome in. Oh my gosh, another save? I didn't even find the save from the first one, and I, I know that's a trophy is to unlock them all. I don't know where to find any of the combinations for the save, though. I hope I didn't miss it in the last game, either. Means I'll have to beat it again to get them unlocked. <laughs> Thanks for being here, everybody. Appreciate the visit, Daniel. I feel like something is in the safe for me. There's already two safes I came across and I can't crack them yet. Hmm. do I do now? Oh, that's where I came up from, right? The sewer? He wants me to go back down after that? Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. don't have any idea if there's any clues in here for me to open this safe. I could go back to the last room either that I was in in chapter two. I'm really curious about the bloody safe.
It's crazy. I haven't had any hints for any safe unlocking. Hmm. That is a trip. I feel like I'm missing out without opening the safe. It's the second safe I came across. Do I go back in here now? There's nowhere else I think I could go after this little part. Okay. Ooh, it's scary. Scary in here with these freaks. I'm gonna go back down here. have to find the address that Jeremy and the dark man. Jeremy's the uncle I'm looking for. And um I believe he something with him and the dark man I have to figure out. I had no idea how to get out of that room. I don't know if I have to go back out. Let's see. I didn't find an address though. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh snap, this guy threw up on me. My guy can't even shoot. He's like trying to reload his gun. Oh my goodness. That was super scary. <clears throat> I gotta look for the address. Let me see. Oh, oh my. I had a save point right here. Okay, hopefully I did. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to look for that address. Why is there more? Oh my goodness, there's more freaks than ever before. <laughs> what the heck? Why is there freaks? Oh, I just got a trophy. The trophy was called Gangster. Oh, dang. Okay. Guys, I don't know what to do. Let's see. Let's look back at our clues. It's crazy because in the sewer, there's like nowhere else for me to go. Oh, and I have no maps. I think I only have like one map. Let's see. So do I need to go back to the sewer? Let's see. Whatever just happened with those freaks though was hella scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I guess I have no choice but to go back inside of the creepy, creepy tunnel. Oh 
Oh, I was like, am I missing a little door? Okay, let's see. Let's check this map. It's a weird map that we have. <laughs> it doesn't tell me where I'm at. Okay, I hope there's no more freaks. I'm not gonna lie guys, this little Tommy guy hella saved my life. Like where the bloody sound how do I go after I'm here? I thought I'm inside the shipping company, didn't I use the, um, the sewer entrance? Looks like the sewers don't give me any other options or any other places to go. Somehow, Combi was back in New Orleans, close to the... Hello, Bloodshot Eyes. Welcome in. Thanks for the visit. Great. Am I going to have to crack this safe to, like, get the heck out of here? Is the address inside of there? Oh, shoot. Dang it. I just shot at my Tommy. Oh, no. What the heck? Tommy, why am I hearing from Gloria Allen that you got some job at the loony bin? You better not be thinking of paying her off before me. I don't want to take you for a ride, so get me my money. I'll be at the Maccabean all night if you score some dough. Obed Morton. Louisiana State Board of Private Investigator Examiners grants the following license to Edward Carmby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. License number 196692-LA. Good until May 15th, 1930. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? 
I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signor. Is there anything I could... How did you first come to understand such things, Signor? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Oh, okay, so I could see all my other documents. Okay. That's nice. But where the heck do I go here? Is there anything in these other documents? Let me give me a combination for this. key okay I still haven't found a day in here am I not going somewhere in the sewer that's weird I'm kind of stuck at a dead end and even though I didn't unlock the last safe that didn't like stop me from continuing so I wonder if I'm missing a piece of something Let's see somehow Combe was back in New Orleans close to the docks he could smell pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the Dark Man inside. Oh, the Dark Man had a show? Where the heck is the address then? Okay, we have to find the Dark Man's show. The address, because that's where he met Jeremy. That is a little clue. That's a nice little flask on the table. They left their jewelry. They were really gambling away over here. Oh, man. Hmm. Thank you. 
Bloodshot eyes from the chat said the highlighted words were clues I'm guessing in the letters. Yeah. I'm looking for an address. Okay, so I'm a detective and I'm looking for a young man by the name of Jeremy. I'm hoping Emily look for her uncle Jeremy. He's messing with some sort of voodoo witchcraft with some dark man. Um, so right now what we have to find the address that the dark man and Jeremy first met. But I also started a new chapter, so I don't believe I need any clues from chapter two, but it still gave me all those archives. Okay. The heck? Yeah, sometimes there'll be some crazy fighting in this game and then a really intense puzzle, but it's, it's nice. I'm enjoying myself so far and I don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> so I'm really liking that. Um, I'm kind of scared, but let's go back into the sewer. One thing, um, I may have to beat the game again is I feel like I'm losing out or missing a way to get these combinations to these saves. I don't know if I should go look somewhere else though in another room. Hmm. And the dark man had a show. That's crazy. Hmm. Okay, there's nowhere in the sewers I was missing. Oh, sorry, Bloodshot. I'd love to read your thing, but you said you Googled it. <laughs> um, you know, I don't mind playing a game if I get stuck on it, but this is a new game that just came out a couple weeks ago, so I know there's a lot of big-time streamers that already beat me to streaming it. But the beauty of playing a game... Um, I'm just an old-school gamer, you know? I'm a 90s kid. I grew up back in the day gaming in the early 2000s. I was a young kid, so it's really nice to play a new game where you kind of have to figure things out on your own. But I do appreciate it. Oh wow, now that I came up here, it gave me a new objective. Explore the docks. <laughs> Is this the docks? I know Tomb Raider was a game that also had some intense puzzles. God of War had some pretty intense puzzles too. And I remember when I was playing um, the first and second God of War on PS2, we they had little books you could buy, but also we didn't really have like YouTube or the internet to look anything up. So hey. I appreciate the help, guys. I really do. But I just want to, you know, enjoy the game the best I can. I like new games and I like finding things myself. Yeah, there was the, actually the first hard puzzle I was stuck on with the Zodiac signs. I restarted the game thinking I didn't like search an area too good, but... I didn't even have to start over. <laughs> it's kind of a game we gotta just take your time, you know? I'll definitely take the ammo. I want ammo for my Tommy gun, though. Okay. Somehow, Combi was back in... Explore the docks to find a way inside the warehouse. Ooh. It's locked from the other side. Okay, this is a warehouse. This is a weird map. This is why I'm kind of stuck on this part, too. Look at this crappy map it gave me. Like... My other map was way better of the house. I need to get inside this area, but was I just in there and got in through the tunnel? See, it doesn't give me a sign either, like, you are here, <laughs> which would be a nice little hint. But I'm playing this the modern standard edition, so you can also turn it off where the game don't give you a little hint, like the little circles right here, like the invisible circles I could see. There must be another way inside. Okay, it's already in here. 
Nice, Bloodshot Eyes, that's awesome. Yeah, I actually have seen the preview on this game, the trailer, and I was like, oh snap, I'm gonna buy this game. Um, I bought it a few days after it came out, I just haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I was like, man, this looks awesome. Something new and different. Um, I barely got my PS5 in the beginning of the year, so I've been playing more um, PS5 games. So I'm super happy and stoked oh. for that. So this year I'm definitely going to be playing some more games on my channel. What the bloody Sam hell? I have no idea why I walked back in there. It told me to explore the docks. Oh, it doesn't let me go anywhere else. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Kind of scared those freaks are going to come after me again. These monster looking things. I don't know if they're a swamp monster or what they are. It gave me a new hint, explore the docks. Let's see. Is there anything else over here I could push? Like, which more of the docks can I explore? I feel like I'm missing a little step or something, guys. to get inside the warehouse and I need to obtain an address it gave me another little hint explore do the docks to find a way inside the warehouse okay and look for the address this dock is so little though like how much more shall I go Like, can I jump down on this little boat? I really appreciate the Tommy gun, though. Okay, square is reload. Really good to know. Really good to know. Hmm... Take off that Tommy gun, don't kill me. <laughs> Must be another way inside. Okay, those were the freaks I killed earlier. Yo, what's up IPA, welcome in. Welcome in, Chaotic Fox. How's it going? Zafris, welcome in, Zafris. Um, yeah, Zafris, I think it's like more of a detective game. 
There's not too much survival in here. It seems like the detective's going more and more into the story, really wanting to find Jeremy. Do the freaks <laughs> in the the rooms we go through. Oh my goodness. Like, what am I... There was nowhere else I could go inside the dang sewer. Explore the docks. I'm gonna listen to this hint. Explore the docks to find a way inside the warehouse. Well, that's way. <laughs> IPA, I'm doing good. How are you today? You know, I just um, love playing video games. I always play what I find would be fun and entertaining for myself, but there's so many different games to play, you know? I mean, I grew up and the first console I ever played was a PS2. So there's so much that the gaming world has evolved to and so many different things you could do. So I'm always just down to play a new game, you know? Oh my goodness. Flop house. I want to go to the flop house. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. See, there's only so much of the docks. I don't know where to go. You can explore. This is where it first started me, where that, um, that lady, she, she warped me here. I'm just glad that while I'm looking around, there's no more freaks that keep spawning. Still dealing with S in my head, but okay at the moment. Oh. I'm sorry to hear about that, buddy. But it's always nice to see you in the chat. Good laughs, good laughs, IPA. You always put me in a good mood, though. <laughs> You're a good guy, IPA. Or Chaotic Fox. I don't know how many times. I'm not good with the name changes. <laughs> oh, man. But it's always really nice to see you and to play with you. Hopefully this weekend we could play late and get on some CTAs, some call to arms. Okay. I feel like I've walked everywhere, all over here. Explore the docks? Like, how much more of the docks can I explore? Is there something in here that I missed? No? You know, right now I wish I had my varmint. I'd be hunting all these crows or these ravens right now. <laughs> what the heck? Gotta run. See you in a bit if you're still streaming. Thanks for the visit, IPA. Hope you have a good day and you're having a good day at work or whatever you may be doing, buddy. Thanks for the support and just always dropping by. I really appreciate it. Explore the docks to find a way in. Like, <laughs> what more does it want me to do? I've been doing laps around here. My guy's tired and he needs a smoke and a, a shot from his flask. <laughs> Ready. Okay. There must be another way inside. I know there must be another way inside, but what? Hmm. 
Oh, I got stuck on that body, that dead body right there. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was weird. Why did my guy do that? <clears throat> okay, so am I in the shipping company when I go in through the, um, through the tunnels? I feel like I'm missing a piece or a clue or something to get me in there. Forgive me, everybody. I appreciate your patience. Don't tell Chris I butchered Harriet from RDR2. I cooked it and served it to Tilly. Oh my gosh, Greddy. <laughs> you wild, wild man. True, Sam. Roll as a detective. <laughs> Thanks, Sophris. Please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing anybody's name correctly. I'm just terrible with names. Oh my goodness. Okay. Harriet deserved it, Greddy. <laughs> What's up, ghost? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Greddy, um, Harriet is not Chris's RDR girlfriend. I think you're mistaking it for our other RDR brother, which is Kratos. Yeah. <laughs> Harriet is Kratos's woman. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is there like any way to open a door? See, I feel like I'm on the outside of the building I was just at before I came in. Why is this here? Why are all these fire bottles here? Am I supposed to use them for something? Harriet is Kratos' girlfriend, lol. <laughs> Says ghost. Oh, whoops. Dang, I broke that a little too close. Whoops. Like, what the heck? I know I'm not supposed to do something crazy like that. I'm just getting impatient. I don't know what to do. And I feel like I'm missing a clue or missing something. Okay, here's why I'm stuck, guys. Okay, objectives. Look for the address to the dark man show inside the shipping company. Okay. Explore the docks to find a way inside the warehouse. What? I am in the warehouse. Okay, so it crossed that little hint off. Well, what the heck? Do I have to get into that safe to get the, um... The little combination because it crossed off that objective. Okay, so I guess I am supposed to be in here. 
Most will disagree with me, says Ghost, but my RDR2 girl is Abigail. <laughs> no, Abigail's cool. I like Abigail. <clears throat> okay, guys, there's no other choice but to crack this safe, and I don't know how to crack this safe. I don't see any like hints that can help me in my paperwork either to get that open. I have to find the address. Okay, so now I'm in here. It gave me a new hint when I went outside. I am inside the warehouse, but I don't know what the heck to do next. I don't know where I can find a little combination. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Jeez. Jeez Louise, Sam. I guess McFarlane, LOL. <laughs> am I missing something, too, from one of these sets? Ooh, I am missing something. Unlocks hidden memory in the attic. Oh, no. Okay. Because, see, I feel like if I don't get some of this stuff, I also can't continue. I hope I'm not missing anything. I got five sets complete. <clears throat> so I have a feeling the address is in this safe, but I can't enter it because I'm supposed to be in the warehouse. This is where I'm supposed to be. Okay. What the heck? I am so lost right now. It's difficult for me to unlock these safes. This is my second safe I came across. I can unlock them, but I don't know exactly how to get the combination. Okay, I can't burn it down. Okay, it says look for the address. Do we think the address is in the safe? 
I don't know where the bloody Sam Howe would be the address. I feel like I'm missing a clue somewhere. Hey, Psycho McTwisted, welcome in. How's it going? Hello, hello. Hope all is well. Okay. I need to find the address on where Jeremy met the dark man. Okay, I keep reminding myself that, but I don't know where. I got to the warehouse. This is where I'm supposed to be. I think it's in that safe, but I don't know how to open the safe. What the heck, Sam? Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my... Will I need to remember how to... As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name, for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was of course no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. Oh, I didn't even know I had these little bonuses. Okay. Asleep, with anesthetized mind, Yermi filtered these words from Darceto's gangrenous ground. Ever their praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Accept our sacrifice and judge our worth. Ia, Shubnigrath. Ia, Shubnigrath. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Bull worship is common throughout history. For Christians, this can be seen in Exodus when the Israelites turn to worship a golden calf in Moses' absence. This passage shows the people falling back to the worship witnessed in Egypt, known as the Hapis Bull. Another famous example is the Minoans on the island of Crete. Their worship of the bull gave rise to the myth of the Minotaurus, the half-man, half-bull monster that reigned the labyrinth. But for this particular case, I think I should tell you about the deity Astarte that brought the Taurus constellation to life to attack Gilgamesh. Even for a mythical hero, this celestial bull would prove difficult to defeat. Only by distracting the bull with a golden sail was Gilgamesh able to pierce an eye with the spear, which bled the bull to death. Hmm. The lone and the lost walk a land of fear. When there is nothing you recognize, or no one to trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming, 
And you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. Oh, so that's, this is the one, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Holy crap, I hope I'm not missing anything, guys. New Orleans lies southwest of Irseto, along the great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Carré, is home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz craze flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of their seto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. Some have... I'm scared. I hope I went into a few different rooms and I feel like I didn't grab things and I'm hoping I'm not missing anything. I just realized those little sets give you hidden messages. I had no idea. But now I'm really curious and I'm wondering what I missed in the last safe. Hopefully I can open up the other safe. Hmm. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for being here, everybody. I'm a little stuck on this one. I'm, I get scared during these games that I'll miss something, you know, and then sometimes you cut to a cutscene where you're forced to go on. So I always get nervous for that. I'm, I feel like I need to get in the safe or something, though, because I don't see anything else in here that will give me um, the address on where the Darkman show and Mr. Jeremy met. Not a bloody thing I see in this warehouse. <laughs> and as I was running around, it did give me a hint with the objectives, but I, it, it's like you're supposed to be in this room. <laughs> hey, Ambrose Gaming, welcome in. Thanks for the visit. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something though. Let's see. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I've found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. 
I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, uh, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay, I'm just, I'm reading other things. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. Three, five, eight. No, that's the, the combination I used to first get a piece of the tosselman. Mm. Hmm. I am a little stuck and mind riddled on this one. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Terroya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Dang it, Jeremy. You didn't leave anything in here for me. <laughs> On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. I'll tell you one thing, I'm sick of being alone in the dark. <laughs> I'm trying to um, look through some of these documents and see if there's anything in here that could give me any clues. I know they're from past chapters, but still, I am stuck on this one. Mm. <clears throat> Make sure you guys are staying hydrated out there. Drink that water. Okay. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Briglow, 1917. There said there was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry, 
and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Terceto kept a modest production of barrique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Terceto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Deseto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their seto was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legrasse of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desato, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of Derceto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Hey, kill them all with karma. Welcome in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I have a scratchy voice and I've been drinking a lot of water today, like more than I should have. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, guys. I am stuck here. What the heck? Hmm. I have the feeling I have to get into the safe to unlock something, but I don't have any clues to help me out. This is the warehouse they want me to be, because <laughs> they gave me another hint to come back. Um, I got in here through the sewers, but now Sammy is just kind of stuck. Hmm. I did not open the other safe either, so um, I know there was a safe in the doctor's office or the orderly's office. I did not open that safe. Am I not allowed to open a safe or did I miss something in the past chapter? That kind of worries me about this game. You know, I don't want to look anything up, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope that I didn't like miss anything. Last clue says Ambrose. Which one is the last one? From the plantations are all his things. Oh, the ship was... What's up? I just I completely exited out. 
Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. What is left later is right? Is that for the combination for the safe? old school combination like the one you have on your locker at school where you have to like flip it around one time is that a clue maybe what is left later is right and hell is back again huh our ship was raided while in dock all of his things were recovered but blood was shed Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the papers safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Greddy, now she's going to cut me off. And never let me shop again. What the heck? Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy fe first met the dark man. Well, what the heck? Oh, sorry, ghost. I'm just talking out loud to myself. <laughs> trying to figure it out. I was actually doing some reading on this game too. I know there's a lot of other gamers that struggle too, like some of the puzzles they, they thought were very challenging for this game. But it's, I'm playing standard and I'm still like, I'm playing standard and modern edition. I'm still having a hard time, you know? And this picture was right here and I made this picture up myself and I could have looked at this picture right here on the left, the Tosselman. <laughs> oh man. Or it, I think it was the plate to the boiler that I, it took me a minute to get. But that's okay. That's what makes this game fun. Once you beat one puzzle, some of them are pretty easy where you could beat a couple at once, but you got to really pay attention. And I was so scared of those freaks. I feel like I wasn't paying attention too much. And then I was scared of the dark man in the library. So I feel like I missed something in the library. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian. Okay, but I feel like that book doesn't mean nothing to me because we already left the library. Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked. What did Ambrose Gaming say? Left has four letter. <clears throat> Oh, is that what you mean? You're thinking, let's see. Mm. <laughs> Greddy said, I hope Kratos won't find out. Hmm. 
I don't know. I just made up this little combination in my head real quick. <laughs> I was wondering that's what it may be. These combinations are kind of hard. Um, I don't even think I got the first safe open in the house, but I don't know if I unlocked anything to get it open yet. So that's the trippy thing about this game is you're like, ah, oh, did I miss something or did I not? <laughs> Kill him with karma. That lock looks confusing. You know what lock was hard was finding the zodiac signs and it ended up being these people's birthdays and it was like just a weird combination. That one took me a while. <laughs> Dang. Okay, because it says look for an address here. There's no other clues in here, so there's what I need to get to the next part of the game is in that um that safe. I don't have anything giving me any hints though. Hmm, I have to get in that safe to get to the next part. I just know it. Kratos will be collecting. I don't know if he'll have time to kill, says kill them all with karma. <laughs> That's pretty funny. See, my deal is with this, I don't know if it's like an old school combination where I have to go around a bunch of times, like one, one lap. Hmm. This one's a little tricky puzzle. Then I can't go back to the library because I already left from there. I don't know why I keep wanting to go like read books that are like from chapter two or chapter one, but I don't have much archives for chapter three and I feel like I'm missing something that it told me. In the beginning. But I, you get really freaked out on those monsters, guys. It's not like a this game isn't designed for combat. So like your reloading and your reactions are so slow. It's freaking insane. So I get caught up on the monsters and I'm like, did I miss something? Because I was like all scared of the freaking swamp monsters. And then I'm worried. I'm like, did I get all these sets or not? Because these sets could tell you. Um... <laughs> no, well, I, I could have been Googling a while ago, um, like Karma, but I want to play this game and figure it out myself. And I know there's a lot of big time streamers that beat me to playing this game. But if you look up everything on a game, then it kills the fun for you. You know what I mean? I probably could have beat this game by now, honestly, guys, if I looked everything up, but I didn't. And I even got stuck and restarted when I didn't even need to restart. <laughs> it's just this is a puzzle game, too. So sometimes I run out of time during the day where I'm like, oh, man, I, I can't search no more on this puzzle. I'm going to have to save and come back. But it's a super fun game. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm having a good time. 
I'm just, um, some puzzles I could fly through and some are a little bit more, um, you gotta think more outside the box, you know? Okay. Let me look at all my stuff. Okay, I'm inside of here. And this map is so sorry. It doesn't even tell me where I'm standing at. I like the ones when they're like, you are here. Harbor Master's office. Okay, that's where you went to get the keys. Then I went into the sewer. Okay, I'm in the shipping company. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, after I watched the trailer, Karma, Karma from the chat says, yeah, I definitely know what you mean. After I watched it, um, I, I even stopped watching it through the trailer because sometimes trailers and stuff could give away hints, too. So I was like, oh, man, I, I don't want to have any, too much stuff give me any information. So I watched like half of the trailer and I was like, I definitely want to play this. You know, and as much as I love Red Dead Redemption, it was an amazing game to help grow my channel. Um, with the most respect to everybody, my channel is called Sam Loves Gaming. So Sammy is going to play whatever game she finds entertaining and fun. And due to me having a PS5 this year, I can stream a lot more games I wasn't able to stream before. So I'm definitely going to have at it and we're going to have a good year. But I appreciate everybody being patient, and I can't thank you guys enough for all um, the love. Trailers show you the whole game or movie. It's wild. I know, trailers could be really big spoilers. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just have a really good time gaming, you know? Sorry, Ambrose, I had to mute you, but... You know, you try to give me a few other hints before some were accurate, some weren't okay, and you guys may be Googling the game. But with the most respect, this is Sam Loves Gaming. This is my channel. This is how I run it. You guys are welcome to stay, or the door is also right there as well. But, um, yeah, with the most respect, guys, I just want to game and play things myself. I'm a 90s kid. I was born in the middle 90s. I grew up playing on a PS2, um, playing with games. If you got stuck, sometimes me and my brother would get stuck on a video game for like a couple weeks, but it is what it is um i like gaming and i don't want to watch other people game with the most respect or if i watch somebody else play this game i would not play this game because i would already know it's gonna happen you know <laughs> so i just want to have fun and experience things for myself and i don't think there's anything wrong with that but as content creators and as streamers um I just say this respectfully, everybody, you got to respect other people's channel. They all run their channel differently. And you guys are welcome to stay or welcome to go on to the next one, you know? And it's just exciting and it's a good feeling when I could beat a puzzle or when I'm running from these freaks. So <laughs> this game is really entertaining and pretty fun for me. Yeah. You guys look out, though. I'll definitely be playing Silent Hill 2. I did pre, uh, I think I pre-ordered it. Did I? I bought a few games this month. I can't remember if I pre-ordered or not. But they got to call me and tell me when the game's coming out. I don't even know when Silent Hill 2 is coming out. <laughs> but I bought the damn thing and we're going to play it and we're going to have hella fun, you know? Man, okay. I don't want to leave anywhere else because it's going to tell me to come back here. But I feel like the only address... <gasps> Um, I can find is like in that safe, but I didn't open up another safe from chapter one or chapter two. So I'm scared that I didn't open up the, the safe from chapter two. And now I'm really worried that <laughs> I miss something if I need documents or whatever the hell's in the safe. It could be money. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> oh, man. But another thing I'm kind of worried about these Every combinations. Night, dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. How One did you thing... first come to under How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? See, these were other puzzles that I've already beat. These are things from chapter two. I'm just looking if there's anything in here. 
kill them all. Karma said, yeah, Silent. I love Silent Hill, too. That's a fave. I, I actually haven't played any of the older games. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I don't know if they had one out on the PS2 or the PS3. But, yeah. I just want to play something new and different. I'm going to play all the new stuff coming out. You know, when you got the new game. I don't care. I'm a gamer. I'll spend the $70, whatever, for it. I just want to play something new and fun. And sometimes you have a game where you can only play one time. Like, after I beat this game, I probably won't play it anymore. And I'll be messing around, ranking up my character on Red Dead. But it's just nice. Plus, I'm a trophy. I'm a trophy girl. So I'll definitely go for the trophies, you know? Somehow, calm. Yeah, but I love playing scary games. I love playing, you know, in some games, you never know what you're going to get into with them. No, I have not played those. <laughs> you know, Karma um, and everybody, um, I had my daughter when I was really young, too. So a lot of games I wanted to play when my baby was really small. I never had a chance to play. So I also want to play like a lot of retro and older games, you know. Now my child, she's older, she's grown, she does for herself. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely time. You know, when you have a little toddler and baby, you really can't take too many hours out on your game. So I did take a few years off gaming because I was a new mom. But, you know, I'm back at it and we're having a lot of fun. But those games look super fun. I don't like to watch other people play any games, like I said before. Um, I do love supporting my other friends and watching them Um play video games people that are in my community but i really don't watch a lot of other big time streamers and stuff yeah you know and i know they remastered the warriors too i played some of that when i first started my channel um i beat the game many times as a young kid me and my brother were a couple years apart and we would stay up all night until we would beat a game um, yeah, but it's nice to see some, some games come back. I would like to play The Simpsons Hit and Run. I think I played that on the PS2 and they had a um, Nintendo GameCube version. It was pretty fun. I know that's really odd to say, and I don't want anybody to think that's mean <laughs> about me saying I don't really watch other streamers or gamers. But when I watch YouTube personally, I'll be honest, I'm watching a lot of crime show documentaries or like a lot of podcasts about like rappers and like, you know, hip hop artists and stuff that's going on. Um, and I'll just keep it real with you because when I watch other people play video games, I can't watch them for very long because I'll want to go play a game. <laughs> But I think that's just the gamer in all of us, if you guys are true gamers. So it's hard because everybody kind of has a different thing. That's the beautiful thing about all the technology and everything we have today. You can watch like so many different stuff. I know I'm always watching some creepy stuff too that I shouldn't be watching at 2 a.m. And then I'm all scared and I can't sleep. <laughs> and I have all the lights on and I'm like, ugh waking up my boyfriend like I can't sleep and he's like what were you watching <laughs> oh my goodness and the thing that's awesome too about people that stream or play video games everybody always has like a different reaction or a different play to a game you know and I'm sad because I wanted to play this game a little bit sooner. I think I bought this game like the second or the third day it was out. But I was so sick. I didn't have a chance to speak or perform well and stream. And, um, you know, I don't ever like to stream or talk um, whenever my performance isn't too well. When my voice sounds all cruddy or I'm coughing. I'm just like having no idea where I could find the dang combination. Keeps auto saving. I think every time I see the little camera, it's auto saving. Oh my goodness. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. Let me go back to this room and look around. The only reason I'm walking around and talking to is because I'm sad. I am running out of time and we'll have to go here soon. But there's, it's better to start again fresh um, with the new puzzle after I save. I can see what I'm missing. 
Man, I remember back in the day two Tomb Raider games, they had a really crazy puzzle. They make them a little bit different now, but those games too, I would get stuck a little bit. I think even one time my mom helped me with the puzzle because <laughs> I was just like stuck on it for a minute. But this is weird. And I looked, um, I had another safe to open, but it was weird because I also didn't have the combination for that safe, but it let me go on to the game. So I'm wondering if I may go back to that room and go back into that safe with some more clues. But right now, your girl Sam is hella clueless. I don't, I don't know what to do for this next little puzzle. Let me read through everything one more time. And I'm also nervous. I hope I'm not missing anything from these sets. I noticed these little sets kind of gave you some, some little codes too, or some little messages. New Orleans lies southwest of their set though along the great Mississippi River. Its Old Town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Carré, is home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz craze flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of their seto, and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. Okay, that was that was pretty trippy. A goat without horns. Okay, I'm missing two things in there. What? Is one of the collectibles look like a freaking bottle? Oh my god, did I miss that? I know there was a girl I was drinking with. Did she have like um a mixer I must have picked up. That looks like a mixer like a, a bartender would have. Kill them all if Karma said that voice though. I know the voice. It gets you really in the mood. I love that it reads to you. It really, really gets me in the mood. Man, I'm wondering what the heck I'm missing. I really do. I wonder what I'm missing to get in this dang safe. Mm. What up, what up, Bullet? Welcome in. How's it going? Thanks for the visit. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom, but I'll let I'll let him read this little article. I'm looking through this stuff to see if I'm missing anything to find the combination. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarraway. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest and I shall weep. Karma, no, you can flood my chat anytime, brother. Don't you worry about that. I really appreciate the visit and I appreciate you guys visiting with me in the chat. I remember, I remember when I first started streaming, I had nobody to talk to. <laughs> and at least if I'm playing this creepy game, I have some company with you beautiful people of YouTube. Mm. 
No, but there's nothing more than I love supporting other friends and stuff like that, too. Okay. I, I just can't. I can't find any combinations. 10, 11, 1. I don't know if I should try that. Nope, it wasn't 10, 11, 1. See, but I don't know if I flip one. I don't know if I'm doing this combination right, if I'm supposed to flip it. You know what I mean? Like, like loop around one time. I really don't know where to find this combination. This one is hella tricky, guys. Very, very, very tricky. Okay. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Why am I bringing out a gun? Holster that Tommy gun. I can't believe there was just a Tommy gun chilling on here when I first came in. A book filled with Jeremy's thoughts. Well, can Jeremy <laughs> tell me anything? Oh my goodness. I am looking for the actress that Jeremy and the Dark Man had met. Meaning, is that the voodoo doctor or something? Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man. Okay, well, where's the book? Let's see. Does the book give me a, a sort of like hint for a combination? Wait, does that little symbol, the key of... Oh, that little symbol matches the combination on the safe. Okay. She said the book, though, from the library. Let's read it again. The Great Library. The Great Library was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a rule and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the prowler. Okay, I don't know. Sorry, you guys. I have to refill my water. The universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him. Told by a maniacal liar. An evil conjured by science and secrecy. 
I will suspend a rule and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. Left to the librarian. I'm scared because I was just in the library, um, Karma, and I hope I didn't miss anything in the library. Oh my goodness. What the heck? <laughs> what the hell was the combination, guys? I was just effing around with numbers because I didn't know if you had a missile lap or not. I don't even know what the combo was. Oh my gosh. I s <laughs> that was wild. What the heck? And it doesn't even tell you when you get a number right. Gotta go manifest on September 19th, 1892. What's shipping company delivered i i don't know what the code is still though the guys the address and see i'm looking for how i find the code what the hell That was weird. I don't see and I what I like to do with these puzzles is I want to find out how I got the code to that one. And I was trying a few different combinations of the one Ambrose gave me. But honestly, right there, guys, I wasn't even doing a combination that um anybody had suggested. I was just doing some random ass combos and it was weird how it just clicked and unlocked. This freaking game, yo. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play this a few times. It only has 38 trophies, but I think to platinum it out, but I think they're like September hard trophies. September 19th, 1892. Break shipping company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh. Performing at Gaitin Street. <laughs> Karma said, oh snap, let's go. I'm still, I'm still curious to how that one, um, that one, that was just a tricky combination. I'm still curious because I want to find exactly, I'm going to have to play it again, exactly how you get that combo. Because you have to look at these documents, you have to look at the hints, do you know what I mean? Jesus, and this game. Um, you know which one was really hard too, Karma? I did one with the broiler yesterday, and these numbers were on. So, so this game will also give you the numbers, and you think, oh, the way that it's lined up, it's that combination. And you'll have to f mess around with those numbers and like make up a few different combinations. I had to make up like I feel like three to maybe six different combinations before I got it because the numbers on the broilers that said like the temperature, it was um, the combination to one of the the Tosselman plants on top of this boiler plate I know that's really weird but I had to do like two puzzles to fix the boiler so first of all the plate was to make a pitcher and then I had to have all the pieces match and those puzzles are pretty fun and they're quick to get through but some like these where you find these combinations now I'm scared because I'm I lot I left another safe where I never even touched it so I'm wondering what documents I'm missing in there <laughs> 
Black Rose, welcome. Welcome back in. But how the hell do I get out of here now? Oh, great. Oh, shoot. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I I ended up chilling away with all my my other good weapons earlier. Oh my goodness. I know it's not that easy, trust me. Die! Die! Oh my gosh, get out of there! <sighs> yeah, as much as I appreciate you guys watching and stuff, though, I'd also appreciate it um, if you want to, like, try to give me any hints or look anything up to give me and Google or watch anybody else. I'd really appreciate that. Um, if I get stuck, I get stuck. Like I mean, every know. gamer's been there, you know? But if I wanted to look everything up with the most respect, Ambrose Gaming, if I wanted to look everything up to find out about this game, I would already be done with this game. Because <laughs> I've been playing this game since last week. But I just appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me. It really means a lot to me. Oh my goodness. The heck? I don't even know what to do anymore, guys. I think this is going to have to be a good stopping point for today. <laughs> um, uh, Black Rose from the chat said, The last time I played a horror game was one year ago. I got Resident Evil 2 on stem cell, but I only played for two hours and I gave up playing the game. It was too scary for me. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> well... Well, I don't mind if you guys do, if you're playing with me and you think it's a certain one, but I, I just have a feeling some people are looking at other streamers or watching other people and not playing the game. This game barely been out for two weeks now, which I don't mind a little help if we're playing during it and be like, oh, maybe you switch the piece this way because we were doing another puzzle with the piece that you had to look at. And um, they were like, oh, switch around this piece. I think we were making like a Zodiac star. But when you're deliberately like giving me the things, I don't have a chance to look myself in the game. And sometimes as a gamer, you enjoy making it to that next little spot by yourself. So that that's all I say respectfully, you know. But I was doing a bunch of different combinations. I was doing these three different combinations of these numbers. So I'm really surprised the numbers I picked were, were correct. Because uh, if you guys go back and see, I thought it was like an old school combination that you do on your your um, your um locker at school. So I thought you'd have to skip a whole lap and then go around. Because sometimes I notice this game too, you have to try a bunch of different number combo. Like they'll give you one combo and you're like, oh, it's that easy. It's four, seven, nine, five or something or, you know, five, eight, three. But then it's like five, eight, three mixed around like a different way, which is really crazy. But I don't know where this game's going to take me. I'm happy I unlocked three trophies today. So that is pretty good. We're gaining some progress, even if we get lost and stuff happens. <laughs> Chronic Hills, welcome in. Hi, Sam. Hey, that's a cool little emote. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so we can help. You just don't looking it up. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I, I guess for future games, as much as I love chatting with you guys, I don't ever want to turn the chat off, you know? <laughs> but it was scary killing those freaks. I don't know what they're called. I think they're swamp monsters something left in from some kind of voodoo stuff but that's a good stopping point today guys i will be on tomorrow and we'll definitely we'll try to beat this game i am on chapter three but you know 
I was stuck for like two streams, I think two days on chapter two. And like I said, it just depends on what the puzzles, you gotta look around and when these monsters come and these freaks come, I always psych myself out and I'm like, what if I didn't scavenge enough because these freaks are right there, you know? <laughs> But I really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out. Thanks so much for being here today, everybody. Oh, did it save? I think it saves. It has like auto save, but I better just save again, right? Is this where it saves me? I don't know. We'll just save here. Yeah, we'll save it again. <laughs> but I appreciate all of you guys being here so much. Thank you so much. We'll definitely be playing some more Red, De Red Dead Redemption um, soon. This month is busy, though. It's my daughter's birthday. It's my birthday. So, and my schedule is just a little bit different. But I'm trying to stream as much as I can. But I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much it means to me. Chronic, sorry we missed you. You have a good one. I'll go back and watch. Thanks so much, Chronic. Thanks, Ambrose Gaming. Thanks, Black Rose. Kill him with Karma, Ghost, Kratos, Zafras. Who else was in there today? Monet, Gretty. A lot of you guys. Thank you so much for showing your beautiful faces and hanging out with me in the chat. So far, we did a few good puzzles. It was a little crazy. Yesterday, I flew through all the puzzles we had. But also, my adrenaline was going. So maybe I was thinking quickly because those freaks were after me. <laughs> we'll just call them... Um, them, uh, we'll call them the swamp monsters. There's some swampers after me. You know, I don't know how I would take on these freaks in Red Dead. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys so much for being here. We'll see you in the next one. Everybody have a good rest of your day. Have a good rest of your evening. Thanks for being here. Make sure you smash that like button before you bounce. Big, um, big hugs from your girl Sam and much love. Okay, guys? Stay gold and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye! Take care, everybody.